my minions welcome back to my channel my name is tina and today is boxycharm day except for today is boxycharm premium day so i have this huge box that's already open because me and the camera are having issues it comes in this huge box and then instead of having this foam it has this bubble wrap and the box in my opinion is way too big for the stuff that's in there and while I have no doubt it's worth the value, I would really rather they go with a smaller box like they do with the regular boxy charm and not try to like fake it. This is just a waste of paper and stuff. So yeah, that's my opinion. So let's see what's in here and then I'll do the rest of my makeup and we'll try out what I can. This month's theme is whimsy. I think they have the same theme for every box. So the first item is the confetti highlighter from Ciate. They sent me an email a couple days ago, like the day I got my box, saying, Hey, we're sorry, we sent you know a duplicate item. So I got this in both my Boxy Premium and my Boxy Luxe. So I'm going to swatch this one, and then I'll just put it in the other box. It's like one of those funky looking things. Oh gosh. Okay, wish I hadn't done that. The only thing that's going to work for me as is a eyeshadow. Now I'm sad. Definitely will not be opening than the other one. Wouldn't have it anyways, but definitely not now because that's just, I can't wear it. It's a subscription service, so it's not going to be curated specifically to my specific skin tone. That's how they are when you deal with a subscription. The next item is from Bite Beauty. It's their lip therapy. It, I have heard amazing, amazing things about this. It comes with a little scoopy. It smells like lemon, like lemon sugar. It makes my lips feel so hydrated, which they so needed. It is so dry here right now. It sucked all the moisture out of the air, so my lips have been dying. So this actually feels like heaven right now. Oh god, so good. And it tastes kind of good. Not that you want to go eating your lip treatment. So next we have the Avante Hyaluronic Vitamin C Lecithin Marius Aqua Jojoba Oil age vivifying i don't even know what that means but we're gonna stick it on because anything that's i assume anti-aging is a big hit in my book so it's kind of a blue color hopefully this isn't gonna cause a problem with my makeup it smells sort of grassy and i'm just putting it on down here where i had a massive allergic reaction it was terrible it's like this is the worst allergic reaction i've ever had in my life next i have the kat von d cake pencil this is an eyeliner um, Kat Von D makes very nice eyeliners, and it's super duper black. That's awesome. And then we have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juiced Moisturizer. That is a gorgeous bottle. Wow. It's glass. It's nice. It's lightly pink. Oh god, it smells like watermelon Jolly Rancher. I was really worried because I don't like the scent of melon very much. This just smells like straight up watermelon and I like that scent. It's gorgeous and it's so heavy and luxurious feeling and I like this a lot. I have no doubt it's super expensive. Last but not least, I have a Hidden Treasures palette from Dose of Colors. Boy, this is going to drive some people a bit crazy. Look at those. Why did they do that? That's just weird. Who needs thrifts? I'm going to put down some swatches and I'll be right back. So here are the swatches. Overall, they look amazing. There's pearl, coin, key, crown, ruby, gemstone, onyx, map, which oh my gosh, looks amazing, locket, and diamond. As far as palettes go, this isn't the most original colors in the world right now. It seems like I have a ton of eyeshadows in this color. I love Dose of Colors. I own one palette from them total. And so I wanted another palette. Maybe my impatience should have just said, no, this would be a great gift. But no, I didn't do that. So I'm just going to put pearl all over my lid. Oh, bad choice. So pearl is a very nice shimmer that's now all over my lid. I'm not coming up above my crease because that would look terrible later. I'm going to use MAP as my setting shade. I'm going to grab a little bit of key and I'm being lazy. I'm just using the same brush I'm going to blend that into my outer corner. This key is the shade that when I swatched it, it was the patchiest and as I'm using it, it's still the patchiest. If you love neutrals, I think you're really going to like this palette. So I'm just going to take some more matte 
and go in a little further on my eye, not quite to the inner corner. I'm just gonna use Ruby on my finger. Put that in the center. I am having the weirdest problem. Hopefully you can see it. As I'm packing this on my lid, it's pulling off the shadow underneath, just being a nightmare. So I'm just gonna try a wet brush and see if I can't make that stop doing that because. So that's much better, but look at the mess. I normally do my foundation first and this would have just pissed me off uh especially for as expensive as this palette is bound to be i'm just gonna spray my brush again different brush and use diamond which is a lighter kind of pinky shade and bring that in a little bit and then grab some pearl and go over the top of that right there on the very inner corner so it's time for me to finish up my eyes. I'm only using powder, so I am definitely filtering the heck out of the thumbnail. I'm using the Kat Von D Cake Eyeliner that came with this, and I'm just using it on my waterline. That goes on so smoothly and so dark. Absolutely gorgeous on the waterline. I'm just going to finish up my eyes with some more mascara. I'm going to grab a little bit of key and bring that around the corner here. So that's one of those super, super smudgeable eyeliners, which I love. I am so not happy with this eyeshadow in the center of my lid. It just keeps peeling up. I've got bare spots on my lid several places. Um, I'll zoom in in just a second. First, I'm gonna grab a little bit of Ruby and just bring that to the inner corner. You can see where that eyeshadow is totally peeling up on my lid. If I have to, I'll zoom in on the video, but it's pretty apparent right there. It looks like crap. Maybe it's combining with, I am having a problem today with my allergies, but that doesn't seem like it should do that. I've never had an eyeshadow be this bad before. And where I put diamond right there is completely gone. I'm grabbing gemstone. It just looks all wrinkly and terrible, in my opinion. So far, surprisingly, not a fan of this palette. Let's see how much this costs, because I'm sure it's expensive. So the Hidden Treasures palette is 50 bucks. I expect a $50 palette not to do this. Not my, this is like probably the worst review I've had on an eyeshadow in a while. We'll see what happens later. And it's nothing to do with the fact that, like I said, I've found the colors in here to be very predictable, but they're predictable because everybody seems to want those shades. I'm just not a fan right now. Uh, we'll see in a couple days. I'll do another look when I can actually do a full face of makeup. As you can see, it's like literally everywhere. It goes to my neck on the side, the whole works. I am a mess. So 50 bucks for that. The Glow Recipe Pink Watermelon is 39. I liked it. The Bite Beauty Agave Nighttime Lip Therapy is 22. Loved the heck out of this. The Ciate Highlighter Confetti is 32. I can't use it. It is way too dark for me. The Kat Von D Cake Pencil is $19. It's a very nice eyeliner. Um, I probably won't repurchase just because I don't buy from Kat Von D anymore. The Avante Avant Deluxe Hyaluronic Acid Vivifying Face and Eye Night Cream. I'm pretty sure that's $34 because if that's $134, what the hell? I went and got a set of glasses just to make sure. $134. Bucks. Yikes! I will definitely be doing a video just on that to see if that is worth the money they're charging for it, because that's crazy. It's not a small, tiny size or anything, which is amazing, and jojoba oil, and all those other ingredients that are in here are great, but 134 bucks? Wow. I guess on that alone, if it's amazing, it's totally worth the price for Boxy Premium. Unless, of course, it came in Boxy Charm Regular. I really, really wanted BoxyCharm regular this month because they had those cute storybook palettes. Oh gosh, I wanted those so bad. I did get some really nice stuff in the premium. I like everything I got here. Uh, okay, no I didn't. I hate it. I don't like everything I got. I do not like that eyeshadow palette. I can feel it coming off my eyes again as we stand here. And I'm not doing anything. My eyes aren't watering. I'm not tearing up. 
nothing. So why is it coming off like this? Oh my gosh, is anybody else having that problem? Because right now, if you're over the age of 30, avoid this. And I love their eyeshadow. Like, I have a bunch of them. This one, I don't know what's going on. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.